Good afternoon, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com. I hope you're all doing good. And you can say, well, Pat, as far as the market's concerned, I don't know if you can call this good afternoon. The best part about it is it closed. <laughs> so kind of crazy action, but that's why we have rules. And rules help us get in and rules help us get out and uh, manage what we have. And that's, that's a good thing. So we stick with the rules. Where do we always start? We start with either the major ETFs or the indexes, and I'll just show you the, the Dow. Here's the Dow trending up. The yellow line's the eight period moving average, right here. The blue line's the 20, and this is the 50, the green. Walking up, starts to lose. Last week, it started to lose the eight day. Started to get a little bit lighter. On Friday, it lost the 20 day, and we took off the rest of quite a few different stocks on our key list from before. Here's the S&P 500. Trending on up, loses the eight day on a pickup in volume, sell some, goes sideways, gaps down and loses the 20 day, and we sell the rest. We actually owned at that time, just to tell you, we owned SSO. And I'll just show you this real quick, just so you know. SSO. We picked up SSO right in here, okay? And it ground on up the eight day. We sold some into strength. We know we're not going to get the top give up on that. We don't get the top, but we try to get what we can. Lost the 8-day and we sold some off. And then on Friday, it lost the 20-day, started to fall below it, and we sold the rest off for a good profit. We're in there under 102 and we're selling it off at like close to 119. That's a good return with low risk and low stress. So that's what we look for. But I want to show you something. What do we always do? I'll just share a rule with you. You look at the big picture first. Hey, what's the market doing? And after you see that, then we go down and we take a look at the individual stocks. I'm just going to rattle through some quickly. This is a follow-up from a video I made this weekend, but this really reinforces our rules. You've got to have rules. Those who don't have rules eventually get into big trouble financially. We have rules to get in. We have rules to trend. We have rules to sell some into strength. We have rules when it starts to lose an eight-day moving average. When it finally loses the 20 day right here, we sell more. And then when it finally lost this little shelf, Caterpillar, the rest was sold right here. I told them right around 159. I told the VIP members selling flat Caterpillar. And so we sold 159. 159 and a day later, the stock hits a low under 143. 159 to 143. That's why we got out. We have rules. Here's another one for you. EOG. We entered right here. It trended up. We sold some into strength. Started to lose the 8-day. And we sold more. Bounced around, but we didn't sell it all. We got to wait. On Friday, it lost the 20-day. Around 114. 114 touched a low today near 109. Take the money out here. And again, rally into the on up. Sell some into strength. You're not going to get the top. Loses the 8-day. You sell some. Finally loses the 20 day, you sell the rest. That's how we do it. Pioneer Natural Resources. Lift it off right here. Keyless stock. Bought here. Rallies on up the eight. By the way, please remember, we look for leading groups first, and all these stocks were in leading groups when they broke out. They were in the top 10 groups. Some of them were written up in Investors Daily. Walked up the 8, loses the 8, you sell some into strength, sell when it loses the 8, meanders around when it finally on Friday, loses right there, falls below this little shelf, and I'll show you something that's good to do. You can just look at the hourly. See that hourly? Going sideways. Look at those lows. A low here and a low there. Just going sideways. Boom. Loses it. Adios. We run it like a business because that's what it was, and that's what it is. A business. Fang. Entry. Walking on up. We have rules to get in. We have rules to get out. Selling into strength. Losing the 8 day. Losing. Going sideways. Finally loses. Falls hard below the 20 day here. And we're out. Another example. I'll just show you. Again. Walks up the 8. Sells some into strength. Loses the 8. Sell more. Goes sideways. Falls through the 20 on a pickup in volume Friday. Sell the rest, and we miss this. XLE, this is, this is taking it to the nth degree. 
buy right here. Keyless stock. VIP members own it. Walk it on up the eight day. Sell some into strength. And you say, oh, why don't you just hang on to all of it? I don't know the future. Nobody knows the future. By selling some into strength, it guarantees profits for us and allows us to handle any wiggles and let more shares work for a longer period of time. Finally loses the eight, we sell some. Gaps down below the 20, we sold the rest. Folks, how'd you like to sell this for 75 and a half? 75 and a half, and today it falls below 69? That's awful. This stock came almost down to the 200 day. That's what we have to watch for. That's what we do at missionwinners.com. We have rules. We have rules to buy. We have rules on what to buy. We have rules on selling into strength. We have rules on selling when it starts to lose momentum. We have rules if it goes up and fails quickly to limit losses. Rules keep us in the game. That's what we do. I've been doing it for 31 years. Just wanted to share that with you. I hope that helps you. And again, my goal is this, is just to teach you. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. And that's what I want to do. I want to help people. I learned a lot of this on my own. I'm very fortunate to have met some great investors through the years. Marty Zweig, Ed Sakota, Bill O'Neill. They helped me. I want to pass it on. By the way, they're greats. They are the greats. I learned from them. I'm thankful for that. I thank you very much and take care and have a good night.